Greetings and salutations, my friends, and welcome back to another episode of the Uno Moss series, the series where we are taking a look at weird, wacky, and wonderful things within Mario Maker 2. Again, and as always, for those that don't know, Uno Moss levels are typically short levels that showcase things that definitely weren't intended to be found in the game. Let's go ahead and check some of these out. <laughs> The first Unomas level of the day comes courtesy of No Name Bro called Unomas Setter Down There. And what do we have? Yeah, yeah. So we have. I'm. Oh, this is an oldie but a goodie. So you'll notice the piranha plant up above. We can. We need to get through there, but if we drop the pal block right there. Weirdly enough, somehow it kills the piranha plant. I think what it does. I think it lifts the launcher just ever so slightly, literally like a pixel worth. And that's just enough to kill the piranha plant, like smush it if you will. So they're, they're very delicate plants. Next up we have a Japanese level. It doesn't say Uno Mas, but I think we're in for some wacky things. <laughs> like, I mean right off the bat. I don't know if you can see it, um, unless you're watching on the highest quality on YouTube, but yeah, the uh, leftmost thwomp is doing some weird things. What's weird is we cannot stand on the corner of this thwomp. No matter what we do, we get pushed off the corner of the thwomp. So that's, uh, that's kind of interesting to note, aside from the cat paws. Let's go through the door. So that's really strange. There's two thwomps, like, smushed together. That's just, that just doesn't look right. It just doesn't, it just doesn't, what is this now? Okay, so I think this is just showing. Okay. So basically this is just showing weird things with thwomps, okay. So then I, I noticed this skip squeak over here, what am I? Oh, you couldn't see it, but behind me there is a twister, so it looks like the skip squeak is just chilling. <laughs> Looks like Skip Squeeze sitting on an invisible sofa. So then we can make our way down here. Gonna take damage there. We got the springs. There is a platform underneath us, but we are not getting extra height from the springs. The springs look like they're engaging to give us extra height, but they're literally just. Boom, 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 boom. You guys like my sound effects? Weird corner things with with thwomps, friends. Thwomps, uh, I, I think you're seeing thwomps are pretty janky. So we gotta go up, what, now what's... I'm a little unsettled by this level. A lot, a lot of unsettling imagery that I can't get out of my head. So <laughs> we have this poor skip squeak. <laughs> This poor skip squeak deserves better. This skip squeak deserves better. So what's going on here? I don't even know. Where am I supposed to go? Uh, let's go in this box, I guess. Boom Boom has been thrust inside of the Creeper Piranha. That is just, like I said, a lot of unsettling imagery going on here. Okay, so... What am, where am I supposed... Whoa! So it's like we're sliding down the thwomp for a little bit and then it just pushes us back out. This is... Strange! Okay, now what... There's more! But wait, there's more, friends. But wait, there's more. I'm just now noticing these ants. These ants look like Sonic, friends. Okay, yeah, let's just go through the door. Oh, but wait, there's more again. We have the weird, okay. The box inside the box. This setup lets us go through the platform. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh my gosh. What happens if I jump on it? OK, 
Okay, that was oddly satisfying. Is anyone else oddly satisfied by that? Wow, a lot to unpack in that, that level. Wow. Next up, we have another Uno Moss by No Name Bro called Cut Down to Size. Here we go. Okay, we have a Fire Flower suit as well as a Goomba helmet. Did you know if you crouch and walk with the Goomba helmet, you walk the same speed as a Goomba? I didn't think you knew that. So what I think this is gonna show us is the fact that when we hit this, we take damage. We take double damage, but we don't lose the helmet that we're wearing. So if you're wearing a propeller suit, I think it's all of the helmets, not just the Goomba helmet. Maybe I'm wrong, but it definitely works with the Goomba helmet, where if you are if you have a power-up, yeah, same thing. You don't lose the helmet. You, uh, you lose your power-ups, but you don't lose the helmet, which normally, if you're not getting smushed, when you take damage, the first thing you lose is the helmet, not your power-up. Next, we have Mid-Air Regrab Jump Bade by Mozzarella. This one was really difficult. It had a really low clear rate. I don't know that we're gonna be able to do it, but let's just see what's going on through the door. You know what I'm wondering, gang? If we stay on the shell, and it's gonna turn into a... Yeah, so in in midair, it puts the parachute on it and we can grab the shell. So it's kind of like we need to grab the shell and then immediately do a shell jump. Which is way easier said than done. We grab the shell, but even if we hit that shell jump, we're on our way down. And I don't think we'd be able to get enough height. We gotta be able to do that on the way up. Like, we're, we're grabbing the shell and throwing it, but that doesn't help us. Two hours later. It's almost like you have to run and jump off at the exact frame that it turns into, like, the parachute appears. And, mmm. So you might be able to grab and jump with the shell mitt. I think that's gonna work. Got it. That's what you have to do. That's exactly what you had to do. You notice I jumped and I grabbed the shell. That is the most, some of the most obscure tech I've ever seen. And it's some of the most wild tech I've ever seen as well. That is insanely hard to time. I don't know that it's frame perfect, but it's pretty dang close to a frame perfect trick to get. Uh, let's see if we can get it here. Yeah, that was too late to jump there. We grabbed the shell, but the jump came a frame or so too late. Oh, I got it again and choked. I got it again and choked. That is so insanely hard. That was it. Mm, that's it. That's it. The key is not to move. Basically, the key is not to move. That's what it is. You don't want to be moving left or right. Got it. Mm, that is mind blowing. That is mind blowing. I. That's evil. <laughs> that, that's downright evil tech. Now we're gonna look at do play this level Uno Mas made by lunch. Mm, no idea what this is. Hold down, enter. Enter door. Door. Enter. Hold down. One time. No P. Then enter times, wait, what time with, okay, I'm holding, I'm entering holding down. Okay. Okay, then next time with the P. Okay, so I'm just supposed to take the P with me or am I supposed to? Why did holding the P make a difference? Why does holding the P, why did that change everything when Mario was holding the P? Now we have a level by Taigo called New Glitches. I don't know how new these glitches are be will be, but it's somebody that loves glitches. Wait, what's down the pipe? 
Oh, this is a hint. This is a hint pipe. So I'm supposed to... What? Ah! Uh, ah! <laughs> okay, so that's what you're supposed to do. So we need to take a pal, put it here. And if done correctly, should push us through that wall. Yeah, that, I, I don't think I've ever seen that. That was weird seeing the vine grow with no base. Ah, that was really weird, okay. Okay, we've seen this glitch before. I've seen it, but it's been a while. Am I gonna die here? Right. Right, the thwomp has no, that's, that's it, that's it. I remember this one. The thwomp literally cannot hurt you. Now I think the, I think the spiny can, so I'm not gonna risk it. And I don't think we can spin jump on it either. Okay, wow, that, wow. Mm, that is janky, that is a super janky trick. Now what's what, I wanna see this again anyways. Oh, it breaks the note block. Right as the Magic Koopa is turning the note block into something, it breaks it. And what's weird about this one is that, it, I think it's because the Thwomp goes off screen or something. It just assumes, can I? Okay, you can spin jump on the spiny. You cannot spin jump. So you can spin jump on the spiny, but you cannot spin jump on the thwomp. That is just weird. Uh. Oh, this is this. That's that tech. We saw that a couple of Uno Moss episodes ago. Don't hold. What? I can't. I can't read that. Oh, the. <laughs> I love, I, you gotta love the tiny angry wiggler. Nothing quite like that glitch. That is definitely not new, however. So wait, what's going on here? What? I wanted to see this glitch again anyways. Can we jump? You can jump on top of it. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'd rather not die here. So Boom Boom comes up under the floor. So we need to be ready to run here because Boom Boom is chasing us. Leave me alone, boom, boom. Leave me alone. Okay, so what's over here? Is there, oh, there's a checkpoint. At least there's a checkpoint over there. I will gladly take that. And there's a 50 bagger up here. I will, we'll, yeah, we'll take that too. All right, so. Let's continue on our way. Are there any more glitches to see? The flagpole is right, wait. Okay, the flagpole is not right there. It's on the next one, okay. So obviously the flagpole is right here, but I kinda wanna see what's down the pipe. Are there more glitches? Maze. Does anybody know what the point of that was? Oh, yeah. time. Next up, we have Unamas predict what'll happen made by Ruben's Cube. All right, guess what all happen? I just feel, I feel like I'm on a game show. I feel like I'm on a game show. There's a lot of pipes and a lot of doors. Ah, uh, I'm guessing I'm gonna win by going through door number three. Survey says. No. What if I hit the on off and go through the door? Uh, so I guess we're supposed to. All right, let me restart. So I think what we're supposed to do is observe when we go through the door what happens. Like, did you see how that pal block just went zooming down to the right? 
Uh, okay, so let's see what happens when we go through this door. The pal blocks just fall right straight down if there's two pal blocks. What about if there's three stacked up? How does this... Oh, I'm sorry, those are blue ones. That was weird. It's very weird. Okay, now I think we're supposed to go up through the pipe. Let's go up through the pipe and see... This is legitimately really cool. Uh, what's, okay. <laughs> so it's like the same setups as the bottom ones uh, through the door, but with the big spines. Although there's, okay, wait, let's just see what's next here. Okay, if, if you put it near out a little bit, it bounces off, okay. Is this gonna be the blue spinies? Blue spinies? No. Yeah, spinies are really janky. There are not, there's a lot of janky items in the game. Janky items and janky enemies. Uh, spinies are definitely up there with, with some of the most janky in the game, without a doubt. Next up, we're gonna look at Uno Mas tongue tricks made by Perfect. All right, so we have to reach the goal after grabbing one coin. We have a Yoshi, and th that must be the red coin. The question is, how does one grab said coin? Okay, so this animation of Yoshi just perpetually sliding on this uh, conveyor is weird enough, but watch, watch carefully at Yoshi's tongue. It went at a 90 degree angle, actually it was more like a 45 degree angle. Uh, but Yoshi's tongue literally, normally you can only, you know, tongue at a vertically, right? But if you're sliding, notice Yoshi's tongue goes at, wow, well, that's not even 45. Like a 30 degree angle. All right, you gotta forgive me. It's been a long time since I've been in geometry. I'm, I don't remember angles too well. But regardless, Yoshi's tongue in at an angle. Perfect's just coming in hot with all these Uno Moss levels. This one is called Bomb Benefits. I don't think there was a clear condition. Oh. Oh, I bet you I see what's gonna happen. So I didn't see what was gonna happen. So take a look, the bomb is no longer in the claw, but it is floating literally in midair. Uh, my guess is we have to ground pound? No. So we need to somehow activate the bomb to hit the on off there. And I think I did it wrong. So let's go through the door, maybe. Ah, you have to ground pound from the corner. So if you do it, Interesting. Interesting. Does it have to be a ground pound? Can I just jump from here? It's gotta be a it's gotta be a ground pound for this to work. Otherwise, um Yeah, it just does that little little boop she boop. But with a ground pound I, you there could honestly be some really cool levels using that tech. You get a lot of speed from the uh, slope ground pound. Yeah, there could be cool levels made with that. Another one by Maker Twins, Giant Janky Slide Part 2. Because the other ones weren't. Okay, well, that was getting pushed through there. Thank you, Mr. Monty Mole. What do we have? A door! Oh, B plus down is what we're supposed to hold. So this is some of my favorite tech in the game and I'm so glad to see that it hasn't been patched out so hold down and B I love that tech so much I love that tech so very very much friends um, I can't remember whose level I played that in first was it Mang I think it was Mang made a level using that tech and it was it's still one of my favorite levels that I've played to this day. Finally, one more by the Maker Twins. This one is Giant Janky Jump. This one had a much lower clear rate, only like a 5%, and uh, it said it was, it was pretty tough. Oh, man. Okay, so we have to... Wow, how do we get up there? I think it said something in the description. It said to slide on the treadmill 
and then jump and you should get like a super jump all right i, I really want to see this because this sounds really cool as well got a little more speed there but we didn't get the height so it's very very precise to do because there's the the slope is not that big do i just want to be holding down Did you guys see that? Did you guys see that? What was that? Slow motion, please. Japanese Unamas level, this one is made by T. What do we have? We have to grab two coins. Are these coins right here? All right, so those are the coins. Oh, so we need to keep the cape somehow to break these blocks. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm guessing it has something to do with spin jumping, right? That got us one, but we still went right on through. Ah, so you have to like spin and... Okay, B. So basically Mario wants to be in line with the far left and far right of the track. What's weird is our cape is activating the blocks. Oh, that's weird. The cape is activating the blocks, but uh, <laughs> Use your words Dave use your words all I can say is that's crazy. I have never seen that before very wild tech Next up we have another Japanese Uno Mas level made in SMB1 style it Says what? Okay, the ending is right there. Do I want the ending? Let's just see what happens if we get the ending. That better not have been it. Gonna give you a shot at redemption here, friend. Better make me happy. Yeah, that's it, that's it. <laughs> you know, I searched for hours. Hours, I'll tell you, to find these Uno Moss levels. That's what I get. All right, I'm gonna give this. I'm gonna give this creator another chance. This is the same creator that just made that last Uno Moss level. Uh, <laughs> what do we have? I'm just gonna fall down here. You're a troll creator, aren't ya? This is actually pretty wild. You've redeemed yourself, Japanese creator. So normally you can't get in. So what in the world? So, but if we hold X and up, not only do we get the key, but we also go through that crack. And then we just gotta not die there and beat the level. That was, uh... You made up for it. Yet another Japanese Unomas level. This one's made by Haruka. Didn't say Unomas, but I believe in the description. It oh, ah, right, right. When I was scouting this level, that's what this level is. So the weird thing about this level is watch closely at the spinies underneath. And when it goes back and forth, it changes the direction of the cannonball shooters. That is so weird, dude. It's so weird how this works. Now, just keep watching as this level goes on. The When the blue one changes direction... Look at that. Look at that. What a cool concept. And Haruka has made an entire level out of this weird tech. Which I think is so, uh, so fascinating. And we can go through the door. It's a checkpoint. I love it when there's Uno Mosses and then creators use that concept to make an actual level out of it. Instead of it just being a showcase, 
getting to see an actual level out of it is uh, always super duper fun. Like the one with the moon jump from a few levels earlier where you go flying into the sky. Mang had made a level uh, featuring that. I love those types. Baby Matinis, Yoshi, are you all right? I actually read that wrong. Are you all right? Yoshi is the name. So we got a Yoshi coming down here. It's not gonna be a Yoshi, is it? Yoshi's dead! Got two more eggs fallen. Yoshi? Yoshi? Okay, there was, why was that coin there? There was one silly coin just in that room. But I'm guessing now we're gonna actually have a real Yoshi? Let's see what happens. Hold your breath, kids. Yay, it's Yoshi! <laughs> ah, I love that, I love that. Yoshi is, is alive and well. Fear not, friends. We have another one made by Baby. This one is called Link Crouching Sprite. Underwater, you don't see too many underwater starts in Uno Moss levels. Hold down. Where, okay, hold on, let me move, remove my webcam. I'm holding down. It said hold down. What? I'm confused. I'm confused. Oh, I th okay, okay, I think it was showing you on ground if you hold down. Ah, that's what it's showing you. I'm holding down now. Okay, I'm gonna hold down through the door. Did I miss something? Maybe if it's I'm holding, maybe it's I have to be holding down while I'm falling underwater. Oh, he, he was crouching. He was crouching. There was literally like such a small minute change you can barely see it. This is so incredibly hard to see. Just watch now. I'll, I'll zoom in on it so you can get a good look here. But right now, Link is crouching. You might be thinking, no he's not, but I'm about to let go of Crouch and you'll see that he is crouching. <laughs> it's so minute, it's so weird. Oh, that's wild. That is absolutely wild. This one is called Uno Mas Just Wait. And I believe literally this is all you do is wait. It's like a four minute world record or something. Is this where I wait? Five minutes later. Oh no, I just, I just, oh, I was, I was looking online. I was watching Twitch streams. Uh, I'm gonna have to go back and watch what happened because I was not paying attention. Hopefully I didn't need to be big. Oh no, could you guys see that? I don't think you saw it, but we, we ended up getting pushed down through there. And then we can go through the door. Well, friends, that is another Uno Moss episode wrapped up and in the books. I, I can honestly say, yet again, my mind was blown by the discoveries that you all are continuing to make in Mario Maker 2. I think at this point we've done at least 40 episodes, and yes, some of the things that we see are repeats, but in every single episode, I see at least one, two, three, four, five different things that I've never seen before. And that is a testament to you guys that are continually and diligently hunting through Mario Maker 2. You guys are the real MVPs and I appreciate you greatly. Before now, we're gonna wrap it up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day, and until next time, take care.